Well, I think one of the things I wanted them to see is that we speak really authentically to the content that we cover. And I think one of the things that we did differently than other people at the New Friends is we brought out the subjects that we cover and had a panel with them. It's different to kind of just have the videos up, which we did, and I thought they were really beautiful and they played really well in this room. But having the subjects up here, seeing how we relate and seeing that authentic relationship, I think translates a lot to the brands. And they can see that, yes, we execute really well in the videos, Yes, we have a good grasp of the, of the subject matter, but there's a true authenticity here that maybe you can't get in other places. One of our theories are that if you build a great studio, which really Ben has had this studio and he's been, you know, he's been a video producer his whole life. We're not, a, we're not a publisher that pivoted to video. We married an incredible production facility with a brand that's been committed to building audience for a really long time. And the idea is that if you marry a great studio with a dynamic newsroom and a passion for audience, you're gonna build a true influencer network, not like an MCN where you're finding a bunch of disparate things and kind of putting a circle around them. This is truly one united company. So one of the things that I talked about today is, you know, certainly we live in the world of platforms and distributed video and we love those things, but we're also very committed to building our destination site, you know, our newsroom, and a direct connection with the audience so that when people see the content in the feed, it means something more to them than just something that was you know, basically paid for by a brand as like a distributed video. It's part of a larger story. So like Uncharted, for example, like uh, the program that we have with Honda, that's actually you know, a part of our website. We publish new music there. That's our music discovery section and so on and so forth. We try to make everything fully part of both editorial, social, and our direct to audience relationship. When people ask me like, what do you consider entertaining, right? Because we're entertaining young people and we call it the culture of now. And when people ask me what's entertaining, it's very simple. It's what young people are talking about right now. What's creating their zeitgeist of interest? So that can be the new Game of Thrones, but it can also be, you know, this idea of maker culture. Or it can be this idea of how young people can label themselves and broadcast themselves and travel. It, we really want to be fully in touch with this generation that has empowered themselves to broadcast their lives, label themselves and speak to all of their passions. Well, we have a bunch of uh, OTT programs that I'm really, really excited about launching. Um, we want to continue building our destination site. Um, we want to continue building our studio and our newsroom and our brand and continue to have a really close relationship with our audience. One of the things I always talk about is can you be a very big digital company and continue to have really intimate conversations with your audience? That's my goal for this year.